So with winter on its way and COVID making the gyms like almost impossible to go to or at least the most miserable experience you'll have, decided to try to set up a home gym. The only things I really ever used was just a simple weight set uh, and some weights, which I already had the bench portion of it. Um, the other thing I use at the gym regularly is a treadmill. So I did some research and I bought a sturdy but simple treadmill uh, and set up my home gym. So I got this, this mat to make it a little more official. The treadmill sits on it and cushions it a little bit and keeps it from kind of wobbling because it sinks in really nice. And also for dropping weights under the concrete, that's just a bad idea. So these are pretty inexpensive mats and obviously it goes together like a puzzle. I got the three quarter inch kind. And obviously they go together super easily. It's a little bit dirty from walking on it. And they're soft enough so you can do stretches on it and not be too concerned about hurting any joints like your knees or your back if you're doing whatever you're doing they lock together really good um, and a couple th things is, is you're gonna come with two sides every every one is gonna come with two sides so when you put together like what I got here you're gonna have just a mountain of these end pieces which is totally fine and basically Feels like you're walking on just a super soft foam, which of course is that's exactly what you're doing. Um, so basically, I'm happy with it in every way, except one thing. Because it's so soft and it condenses super easy, it's really easy on your joints. So if you're doing stretches for me, like after a long run, or you're doing yoga or something, you're not gonna really need a mat. It's that soft, at least with the three quarters of an inch one. I heard the half an inch is a little too soft. You're sinking in quite a bit but like I said there is one complaint with the softness you're gonna get a little bit of problem I did notice like with my treadmill like I said it sinks in super good the problem with that is it leaves these divots if you have something heavy on it and those divots are basically there forever which is kind of fine because this treadmill is probably not gonna move but if you're doing if you put a chair on it or something it will leave holes holes in it that will be there basically forever, which is why I got that stool and it's sitting on like a weird amount of weights that I wasn't using. Anyway, it's so my simple COVID gym. is gonna make it so that I don't lose my mind in the winter time when it gets dark at five o'clock. Anyway, for what it's worth, if you're looking into it, I hope this video helps. Talk to you next time.